yo what is going on everybody welcome back to another reaction video this is starfield official gameplay reveal this is the first thing we've ever seen of guard of uh, starfield besides i believe the reveal trailer and that's it so without any further ado let's get right into this so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe comment whatever you think the wonder is not the field of stars is so vast, but the man has measured it. Anatoly, France, 1894. This is really cool already. Bethesda. Makes me think of Star Wars. Starfield. What an intro to the video already, dude. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time that we know I, you've I waited a long this. time. I want to skip this. I don't know. Yeah, I waited a long time. I don't want to hear you talk. Uh, it's easily. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding, Todd. Ever. I love you. Like our previous games, it's an <laughs> epic role playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this like time, his shoes. you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. Whoa. Wow. Holy crap. May 7th, 2330. Wow. Crete, the moon of Ancelon. I wish I could like interview one of these people so I could ask them why they chose a moon instead of a whole planet. It looks incredible already, dude. But does that has their way of like making things look good, but the graphics don't have to be the top tip top of the industry. They look fantastic though. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Okay, they can walk faster than that. There's some animals that live on the moon. Sound like crystals. Like little pins. Oh, wow, this is actual uh, player gameplay. Okay, so you get a gun. It's a shooter. Not all animals are hostile. That's all I'm getting from this so far. Pretty cool. They look like they move around naturally in groups like actual animals do depending on the animal themselves. Alright, you can mine stuff just like in No Man's Sky, but this time with a laser. And you can go first person, third person as well, which is really convenient. Crete Research Lab. It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. Oh wow, okay, so there's pirates in the game. Of course it's pirates, it's a space game. Okay, so it seems like there's fall damage, but he didn't quite get to that point yet. You can go inside of the facilities, which is really cool. There's the pirates. Okay, so it seems like there's no stealth aspect because they automatically 
heard them. The gameplay looks good. It reminds me a lot of Call of Duty Ghosts. Mixed with a little bit of doom. Oh wow, that's the way you lockpick in this? That's strange, but unique. That's really cool, honestly. Okay, semi-automatic rifle. The guy playing really sucks. <laughs> what, are you not able to aim or something? There you go. Enforcement's coming in to get jetpacks. This looks really fun. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last Ooh. group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. We get to see a city. Let's go. Oh, wow. New Atlantis, planet of Jameson. Wow. That's incredible. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. That's pretty so, cool. You found something? A new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw oh, that kind of sounds like uh, Juan Carlos Esposito, but it's not. You found appears to be one of got excited for a second. Across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. Yep. That's the Crimson Fleet! The fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Steph. Together, we take down the beast cutthroat pirates. I don't know why in all of these games they never show bad, Earth. Guys. And We're I think it'd be so cool to like people, the free star collective. people to show off what they think what the Earth fleet, would look like back no then or not. Back the only way out. But in those times is death. The in twenty three hundred would it even exist? We are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. Dude, this is going to be such a long game, but such that a gives beautiful you a look one. At the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story, it's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. Yes! I was about to ask, where's the character creation? It's flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. Oh my god, you could be hella fat. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. Oh, wow. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. That's pretty cool. I would traits, actually choose that, I think. With unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games. That's pretty and cool. You can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. <laughs> the octopus and with the guns. Deep crafting systems from running research projects with the resources you find 
to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. Oh my goodness. Gives you a fictive 40 round clip on a pistol. That is so cool. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. That's cool. You can choose where and how to build each one. And you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. Oh, that's really cool. But that's not all. You can even build your, your own, own spaceship. Spaceships. Yes. Oh my gosh. Please tell me you can customize the insides. Please. You can choose crew members. Yes. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. Yes, dude, what? There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. Oh my god. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. I love it too. Oh my god, dude, that's so cool. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs. From engines to shields to weapon systems. Because yes, you can fly it. Oh my goodness, you can fly your own spaceship that you make. Oh my god, and it depends on how you make it too, uh, the way it works. Bro, what? This is like every Star Wars nerd's dream. Or anybody who likes space stuff. Oh yeah, space combat. Nice. This looks nothing like any space game I've ever seen before and it's so amazing, holy crap. Extremely realistic. That's so cool. Asteroid fields. Oh, that's so cool. That is beautiful. So I'm guessing most of the people that. I guess most of the people in shooting I don't have shields because there's no shield damage. But that is incredible either way, we dude. We can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks when does again it come out? for being with us today and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning for it's when all of you yes. play it. That the real journey when do we begins. play it when do we and play you may be wondering just how big is this game oh so we thought we'd take one last moment and show you oh how big the game is let's take a look at one of our planets jemison okay that's jemison you can land into atlantis but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet wow and it's not just this planet it's all the planets in the system from barren but resource heavy wow. ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system. Oh my God, there's multiple systems. Over, over 1,000 100... planets, all open for you to explore. We can't How wait. How It's like a thousand gigabytes? A hundred systems, a thousand planets, and you can explore every single planet and land on each planet, and each planet has distinct life. Skyrim to this, dude. Oh my, you can actually see the Elder Scrolls designs in that one. Oh. Dude. They're really giving everybody what they want, man. And more, too. But this is the only company to ever do that, man. Holy crap. Coming 2023. 
And first day on Game Pass, man. Oh my god. Dude, I can't freaking wait. That is amazing. It makes me want to go back and play No Man's Sky. They just came out with a new update, too. Dude, that is extremely impressive. Beautiful, amazing, awesome. Wow, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment what you think about this. I'm blown away more than literally any other game ever. This is... I hope and I pray this is as big as everybody pray is praying and hoping it will turn out to be. Um, I love every single one of you guys and I will see you all in the next one.